Well, welcome back. 2001 Chevy Impala 3.4 liter. It's got a P0135 heater circuit, low heater circuit on the bank one, sensor one, O2 sensor. This car only has one O upstream O2 sensor for both the banks feed into one, just one sensor, not one per bank. So uh, it's the heater control circuit. We're going to take a look at that, see what's going on with it, figure out what, uh, what needs to be fixed. So, uh, bank one upstream sensor is uh, back here by the firewall. Um, right here's the connector. Probably can get this up where you can see it. Right there. We're just going to unplug that and we're going to check the heater circuit first to see if it's uh, open or not. That's the easiest test to do. Um, these go bad all the time. Um, they just do. This is an 18 year old car. So stuff's going to go bad on it. And I don't know if it's ever been replaced or not. I don't know if it's OEM, but might be. I'm just going to undo this tab, pull it apart. This is the side that goes to the sensor, not to the computer, not to the harness. So if you look at these, uh, I've got to move this camera and I'll show you how to test these because you won't be able to see it. <clears throat> so two sensors, doesn't matter who the manufacturer is, we'll have two wire, four wires. These are not air fuel ratio sensors, they're O2 sensors. Two of those wires will be the same color. That's your heater circuit. So in this case, there's two black wires. All right now you can see that. Let me see if I can get a little closer. So what we're going to do is take an ohm resistance reading across the two pins for those two wires. It should not be open. You should get a resistance reading. So let's do that first and see what we have. It's kind of hard to get this up to where you can see it, but um, two black wires are facing me. That's my meter, it's on. Uh, so the, the two pins on the bottom here. I'm going to go across and touch those two pins. I wish I could pull this up just a little farther, but I can't. There's no more slack, so. So you hear that, just continuity. So two black wires are the two pins closest to the camera. So I'm going to go in there and put the meter across both of them. It should beep, and I should get a resistance reading if the, if the circuit's good. So I'm on both terminals, it's not beeping, it's open. It's an open heater circuit, which is very common for O2 sensors. So this, <clears throat> the heater circuit on this sensor is bad, the sensor is bad, it needs to be replaced. Well, we've got the new uh, O2 sensor, so right there under that hose, let me see if I can show this to you, it's going to be hard to show this, I can't really get a camera in there, right there is your connector, and then down here, let's see if I can get a light on it right there. Boy, it's hard to see, but right down in there is the O2 sensor. I've got an O2 sensor socket. We're going to put a socket on this to see if I can uh, hopefully break that loose without too much problem, I hope. I'm going to have a hard time showing you that because there's just no room in there. Big if. Big if. Go in there. Too, but it will. Right. Break off of me. There. Trying to get a good shot at it here and look at it while I'm doing it. Don't want it to break. Oh, yes. These can be very difficult sometimes, but this one just came loose. I'm so happy about that. It's not there we go. All right, that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have you hold this up, Chris, for me. Just hold that just like that. So you can see. No continuity, I'm just going to touch the ends of the leads together. Continuity. Now I'm going to go across the two terminals, the two black terminals. I did this before, before I pulled it out. And you'll see that there will be no continuity. Now I'm across both of those terminals. Now let me get the new one, and I'll do the same thing with the heater circuit on the new one. You can move. And we'll, I'll show you the difference. There's the part number for it upstream. This is upstream. Come on, focus. There you go, 234-4650. 
And I'm going to go across the uh, two new terminals of the new O2 sensor. There it is. 16.2 ohms. Big difference. That's what we want to see now. The heater circuit's not open. The O2 sensor will come with a little bit of uh, high temp anti-seize. Don't get it on the element. You want to keep it up here on the threads only. Put some on the threads, but don't get it on that element. It's nothing really to see. It's hard for me to see it, honestly. You just got to get in here and get it started. I've not seen a thing. The reality is, I'm not seeing much either. Just be careful of the wire, that's all. Okay, in it goes. Looks good. All right, well that's it. Heater circuit. You can see I uh, showed it after I took it out. It was open, meaning that there was a, you know, it was open in the heater circuit. And then the new one, about 15, 15 and a half ohms, which is about what I'd expect. Uh, put the new one in. Didn't give us too much problem getting it out. Sometimes these can be an absolute bear to get out of the exhaust. Uh, sometimes you got to heat them with a torch. They just can be tough sometimes, but this one came right out, got the new one in, everything's plugged back in, and that's it. Pretty simple job. P0135, don't guess. We always say test, don't guess. We were able to test this O2 sensor and could immediately see the heater circuit was open, which is pretty common for these. And that heater circuit's open, it's no good. You need a new sensor. So uh, we're good to go. If you have this problem in your car, I hope it helps you out. If you like the video, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.